Hello friends, in the series of BSC IPF, today we will be talking about Capital Protection Fund. It is one of the fund in hybrid category. It is a closed ended fund and we will see how it can be beneficial for a small investor. As we have mentioned, it is a hybrid fund. It is a combination of debt as well as equity. It is for those investors who are expecting protection like FD as well as returns like equity. As it is a closed ended fund, there is no option for SIP. As it is a closed ended fund, one cannot invest at any time and one cannot in, uh, withdraw whenever he or she wants to take out their money. There is pre-decided tenor for the fund. Whenever the scheme is launched, investor can invest in that fund. But if the lock-in period is one year, three year, five year, investor has to stay there and then only he can withdraw the money. So if your financial planning is allowing you to invest in the capital protection fund with certain tenor of lock-in, then only you should go for it. Let us try to see how this fund works. For example, if you are investing 10,000 rupees and today's one year debt papers yield is 8%. Then if we are discounting 10,000 with 8% for one year, then it comes out to be 9,260 rupees nearly. So out of this 10,000, 9,260 rupees will get invested in the debt securities with a yield of 8% for one year and the remaining 740 rupees a fund manager will invest in equity. So your capital is protected. Anyways, you are going to get 10,000 rupees. Your principal is protected there. And if equity is performing, then the probability of getting more returns is also there. So sometimes we can say, but sometimes we can say that it is better than FD because taxation is uh, better in the case of capital protection fund. As there is a large composition of debt, so taxation will be according to the debt category. And you have to compare the expense ratio with the rest of the funds. Today we will stay, today we will stop here. If you want to know more about some different topic, then please mention in the comment section. Don't forget to write your name along with your email address. And don't forget to say thanks to BSCIPF and SEBI also. The same topic is available in Marathi and Hindi language. You can visit the YouTube channel and understand the topic. Thank you very much for liking our sessions.